Hey guys, today we've got a pretty quick project. I'm just gonna change the oil in this Troy built push mower. Um, this push mower has a Briggs and Stratton 550EX motor, and this motor's on a lot of different mo uh, lawn mowers, so it doesn't really matter if it's a Troy built or not, the oil change procedure is gonna be the same. Uh, the things you're gonna need to do this are some 30 weight oil. I just have a SAE 30. You can use a 10W30, a 5W30. Um, you can use synthetic, you can use regular. The, the thing's really not that picky on oil and even in the manual they recommend any one of those oils. You're also gonna need something to uh, put your oil in and, uh, and just a little rag. So this is a really, really simple procedure and we'll go ahead and get started. And if you want to see more how-to videos, make sure you click the little subscribe button on my channel below. Before you get started too, you just wanna make sure that your mower is out of gas. So you can either siphon the gas out or what I did is I just mowed and mowed until I ran out of gas and now I'm taking a break, I'm gonna change my oil. If you don't run your thing out of gas, uh, what'll happen is you'll end up spilling fuel all over the motor and that's not something you wanna do. Step one, just pop your filler cap off and your dipstick. And what we're gonna do is dump the oil. You don't have to pull a plug or anything for this. You're basically just gonna dump the oil into your pan. But in the process of dumping it, we just wanna make sure that the side with the spark plug um, stays upwards. You don't wanna like tip it this way or something. You wanna kinda tip it in the direction of your filler hole here. So what that kinda means is tipping it on this this tire here. Things could be hot if you just got done mowing too, so try not to burn yourself. And then, here we go. So that's all there is to draining it. And this right now will be obviously the most important step. Make sure you put oil back in the lawnmower or you'll have a problem on your hands. And this thing takes about a half a quart. It says um, 0.44 liters. So don't just like dump the whole thing in or again, you'll kind of have problems, you'll overfill it. So I'm just gonna dump it in the hole here. I'll dump about a third of this. And then I'll check it with my dipstick. And make sure your dipstick's really clean when you put it in. You don't really want to get any debris in the motor. So I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the camera here but we basically just filled it to just to the middle of this top uh, hole here. So there's an upper and a lower limit line here and you wanna be for sure between those two, but when you're changing your oil, be closer to the top of those two. And um, to do that, like I said, it takes about a half a quart and, and um, then you'll be good. And then when you are checking your oil, just make sure that your mower's on a um, level surface. We're all done. That whole process took only three or four minutes. It's really, really easy in these new lawn mowers. So if you're, if you're a little bit even handy, or even if you're not handy, you can take on this project. It's really, really simple. 
So if you want to see more DIY or how-to videos, just like I said, make sure you hit the little subscribe button. And if you have any comments on this video, be sure to post them in the comments section. Thanks for watching.